Yeah, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. Welcome back to another video. So yesterday I live streamed NBA Live 19, the full game, and a lot of people came out, showed up, showed love, and I appreciate all the support. And a lot of people had so many questions that I really couldn't answer all of them. I was trying to concentrate on winning, you know, because that's what we do. But today I decided to make this video because I feel like there's so many people on the fence about getting live and so many people have been hitting me up saying hey how do you like live um how have you been playing what's the grind like um please tell me more about the game how does the rep system work uh how much money do i have to spend in game you know so many crazy questions so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and say this when you buy nba live 19 if you do you won't have to spend any money on your created player there are no microtransactions in the one at all now if you do play ultimate team there are microtransactions there but as far as the one goes the career mode for this game you do not have to spend any money it's been like this for a while now now if you're also new the rep system the reward system is something big if you guys notice at the bottom of the screen you have court hype you have live run hype and you have career hype these are three different rep systems which carry over to each character you create now what i mean is if you create a character and you decide okay i want to ball out with my wing shooter instead of my wing score this time around you would just come over here go to character select and choose one of your five created players and once that player loads in everything will be available to that player as far as clothing crates everything because of the hype system now as far as hype goes in order to earn hype you have to win games now you can you can earn a little bit by losing but who wants to take l's now let me hop into court battles real fast now this right here is court hype this is really the only way that you can get court hype from what I understand. And look, as soon as I come inside, I earn rewards for defending my court. I got 250 hype points. Now I can attack people and get tears for crates and more hype. Now I'm in control of my court. My court is a 79 overall. There are recommended. You are able to go up against friends as well. Now, Connor, <laughs> I took his court a long time ago. I'm just sorry he just never came back YG what up my man I took his court too he never came back and said anything but I'm gonna be taking all of my friends courts very very soon but uh yeah so basically what you do is you go ahead go in um, and the way the court battles works you actually have to play up against somebody's game rules as well as their handicaps now in my court there's currently no handicaps but the game rules are clash of titans now i don't want to deep dive too much into rule sets and stuff like that but i am going to just you know show you a quick overview game rules is just a description of what you are playing when you come to somebody's court you know there are many different options here man many different options of ways that you can keep people from getting your court now of course i'm going to be unlocking a lot of that stuff now as far as handicaps go these handicaps are insane too man just imagine that i got a beefed up team but your handicap is you can only play with 70 overalls like that is i'm telling you it's crazy in court battles now let's talk about live run hype for a moment now live run is the online feature for your player your character you take them online up against other users now you can play 3v3 where there are street rules where as though no uh what is it no i think foul calls where you go in you got to shoot at the foul line none of that you know what i'm saying i think people can sit in the paint for as long as they want i believe i don't matter of fact you know what no i think three seconds is there for everything but as far as like rule sets like foul calls and foul shots not in 3v3 set now for 5v5 5v5 is much different 5v5 this year comes with a pro-am type of feel it comes with four minute i mean five minute quarters of uh, four quarters and there are all calls whereas though foul calls are called defensive three second calls are called everything and then you have the one court 5v5 this is for private matches only where i can invite people to my created court now if you guys just noticed on court battles that court with the uh animal in the middle of it on that big logo that's my court 
you know what i mean now checking out leaderboards right now knowing that this game isn't out just yet um i'm only 63 ranked as far as 3v3 goes uh 5v5 i am ranked 33 now my average grade is 108 uh i got seven wins eight losses i'm on a current negative two streak don't know how that happened because i remember uh winning my last game but that's okay now uh let me back up real quick now the way you earn that live run hype uh live run hype is 3,000 points per uh win but it's only 300 points per loss so that's that's a big thing now as far as live events go live events is definitely going towards your career hype but it allows you to play with other uh users against the cpu you can't ever play against users in live events all right now if you guys notice they got qjb sitting right here for the creator challenge i'm actually going to go in and play that get qjb and put him on my team because you know i can use him for later or something like that for a video purpose or something but um also uh we're gonna go into the one real quick because there's two other modes that allow you to get career hype now career hype is pretty big and it's it's really fast to get guys career hype is probably the fastest thing for you to get if you're if you like to play offline if you're one of those guys that love playing online and only online and you live and die by online then your career hype really isn't going to go anywhere now the streets world tour in the league these are the two modes for career hype now if you guys notice my highest hype is career hype because i've played a lot of streets world tour and i've done some live events now if you guys notice here group one for all these pro and world tours are complete group two i have a few complete and um the ones that say three out of five that means i just completed them to uh earn a player i didn't go in and do the bonuses so check this out if i go in and do the bonuses for uh let's say berry farms right if i go in the bonuses is endure the bonus endure means i have to be leading by 10 points or more then the game will be over immediately we don't have to if i if i literally score 10 to 0 the game is over now this throwback game where it says uh yesterday's this is chris weber's game and then it's three minute halves 5v5 and the reward is just a wizard's uh sleeveless hoodie which i'm really not that much into so that's probably why i haven't done it yet um i could easily do it and get it over with but um let's hop into you know something else why you know a lot of people been asking me you know a lot of people been asking me what's the best build well you know who who's the better players out there on the court let me just go to edit player and just tell you guys why i feel like the wing score is literally one of the best not if the best builds in this game and that's because of the vince carter icon path now check this out right as far as skills go skills is like where all your attributes and everything lay now if you guys notice my icon skill is three point shot three point shot is maxed at 85 this is just for me having Vince Carter's icon pass. If I didn't have Vince Carter's icon pass, my three point rating would not be this high. Now, if I back out, I can go down and show you guys. Wing scorer skills are amazing, man. A 95 dunk, I'm, I'm, I'm not done. I'm not done. <laughs> Watch this. Check this out, man. A 95 dribble, I'm, I'm telling y'all, it's probably one of the best builds ever. I'm, I'm just gonna go ahead and point that out, man. 88 layups in which layups, I'm definitely gonna be dropping those easy. Uh, shoot off dribble, 88. That means step backs, spinning jump shots is crazy. Now stacking that shooting off dribble with an 88 mid range, I'm not missing. So once I max this player out, I'm not missing. If you guys notice, my mentality boost is inside scoring and dunking, which means I boost my icon skill if I lay up or dunk. You know what I mean? So check this out. My icon physical boost. I have a 79 speed, 81 vertical, 84 stamina, and 84 strength. I'm pretty strong in the paint at 6'8", 213 pounds. But to add on top of that, Vince Carter's icon pass has been giving me the business, bro. So check this out. I'm almost on the final tier, which means I'm about to get a plus three free throw, another plus three stamina, which is going to put me at 87 overall stamina, a plus three dunk, which means my dunk will now be at a 98 rating, guys. 
I'm just I'm just pointing it out to y'all how my dunk is gonna be when I'm done. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Now, not only that, I also have another icon path that I can go towards. I can go towards the assassin path, which is Demar Derozan's. Now, his icon physical boosts are speed, vertical, and stamina, but he gets an inside shot, better free throws, better post moves, better contested shots, and better on-ball defense. So if I wanted to go to live run and people see my uh, player and they see, they be like, oh, he's a wing scorer. Oh, he probably picked Vince Carter. Oh, he got the Toronto jersey on. I come out there and start clamping people up with on-ball defense. That's when you know what time it is. Also, the contested shot at an 85, bro. 85 contested shot with all of my mid-range and shooting off dribble traits. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. But this this right here, this this build, guys. This, I love this build, man. This build has done me no wrong. I can shoot like crazy. And the reason why I can shoot like crazy, it's all about my traits right now, man. So let me go ahead and show you guys my loadouts. So if you guys look at my trait loadouts, the reason why I'm an 85 overall is because I have gold catch and finish tier three. I have gold pick and drive tier three. And I have silver statement dunker. Now statement dunker is huge. If I dunk the ball, any of my teammates that come back down the court with great on ball defense are gonna get steals every single time. I'm just I'm just pointing that out. Now my second loadout, this is my cheese loadout. This is for all those people who think wing scorers can't shoot. Right now I have catch and shoot, I have late to the party, and I have beat the press. Now a lot of people would say, well, why don't you have open three with catch and shoot and late to the party? Because if they're late to the party, I'm already open. If I'm catching it, I'm shooting. So beat the press is way better for me than corner three and open three because with beat the press, guys, I I have to let you understand this, man. Beat the press gives you an increase of chance of blow by when being defended in your own backcourt. But it's not only just a chance of blow by. You are much faster without the ball on offense, running around screens and, and running, you know, picking pops and you know running cutting to the basket then popping back out you're so much faster with that treat so that's why i run that treats now also on my third loader i still have beat the press but now i have counter strike which is the one-on-one -on -one, uh dribble counters and then i have bullet pass this is my passing uh loadout so when people think oh ipod can't facilitate he's a wing scorer i'm moving fast i'm crossing over and i'm diamond so I'm just letting you guys know, man, I think this wing score build is the best build out there as well as with all the traits that I have. Nothing, nothing can stop this, man. Nothing can stop this. This build is really, really hard to stop, man, especially when I get focused. When I get focused, man, I start putting stuff to, you know, people start talking trash. Once I get quiet, phew, insanity come out. I'm just putting that out there, man. But listen, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I, I'm sorry if the video was too long. I know that the title you, <laughs> was I was supposed to get straight to the point, but I just want to, you know, teach you guys a little bit more about NBA Live 19. And, you know, for everybody that's going to be getting the game, if you guys want to join my Discord, uh, my Discord is discord.gg slash Carter. If you guys want to get some games in with me, you can do that. Or you can message me on PSN. Um, my PSN is Carter as well. And make sure if you guys want to watch live streams, make sure you follow me on facebook my facebook is ipod king carter as well everything across the board is ipod king carter there is no social media site online anything that's not ipod king carter for me so if you're looking me up look up that name i'm gonna highlight you guys in the next one thanks for watching peace all right guys this is the end of the video i hope you guys definitely enjoy this video make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and you can also watch one of my previous videos after hitting that subscribe button i hope you guys like this video let's get this thing to 5,000 likes and this is your boy ikc signing out peace